Hello Libra, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star Star Star, and welcome to your reading. So Libra, this is your reading for the month of January 2022. This is a general reading, take what resonates and leave what doesn't, energies might be vice versa, and time is fluid, okay? Also Libra, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share, and subscribe, and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the videos. Libra, uh, in this reading, we'll see what is your energy, what is the energy of the person you are thinking about, you are dealing with, and what is the mutual energy between you and this person okay before we proceed i would just like to inform you that the readings for 2022 have been uploaded on vimeo the link for the same is in description box and in the comment section okay and uh, look uh in that reading i have provided general advice then i've seen what is it that you need to know when it comes to your love life what is it that you need to know when it comes to your uh career your money your spiritual journey and based on the energies that i have sensed during the entire reading i have provided certain gem gemstone recommendations okay right so if you are interested the link is in description box and in the comment section so let's get started now So we have is nine of swords, then we have is knight of pentacles and we have is ace of cups for you. We have is the chariot, we have is eight of pentacles and we have is three of swords. Mutual energy is that of five of cups and the judgment. Libra, you may be dealing with a cancer, you may be dealing with a Sagittarius, okay. You may be dealing with uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you may be dealing with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. If the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed on the signs. We have Nine of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, and Ace of Cups for you. Hmm. Libra, somewhere there is a feeling of lack of something. Okay. There is a feeling of, uh, no, there is, there is a lot of uh, wishful thinking that is going on. I wish I would have had a loving and a caring person in, in my life right now. For some of you, it's, a, it's about matter of money. You're also working very hard. Someone is working very hard around money. So I wish like if money was good for me right now, I wish my... Uh, for some of you, it's health. I wish my health was good. So there is, yeah. I see. I see someone is either disturbed. Disturbed is probably an extreme word. I don't want to use that. Uh, or someone is just feeling void of couple of things in their life. Okay, void of true love. Void of uh, uh, financial stability. Void of good health or for some of you you have not felt loved and care uh, you have not felt enough of love or enough of care in your life okay for some of you you have experienced a lot of struggle during childhood as well as a child also you have been through a lot okay the worst part is is like for some of you the own near and dear ones have sort of uh like broken your trust multiple times okay you you guys some of you guys have inner child issues because the trust was badly broken by your near and dear ones okay and you initially you thought that the world is like this only as and when you started meeting better people in your life there afterwards your perspective started changing not the case that you the negativity uh, impacted you or not the case that you were projecting negativity because of the negative situations that happened with you but you had been through a lot before you could see the good side of life you experienced bad side of the life or bad part of the life for a very long period of time in your life 
okay and there is this energy where you are feeling tired not the case that you did not make efforts towards love not the case that you did not make efforts towards making some good money this is applicable only for people uh, who who think that they need to stabilize their money okay so you did make sincere efforts you are a talented person you know you know that very well but somehow you felt like somehow you felt like there was some serious stagnancy in your life and life was not moving ahead life was not progressing life was not proceeding in the direction that you always wanted okay so there is with a nine of swords i feel like your soul is a bit tired libra okay your soul is a bit tired your soul is a bit tired of trying continuously your soul is a bit tired of putting the efforts all the time your soul is tired of encountering wrong people bad people in your life and this is not something that has started off late this is something that is going on since childhood you have experienced a lot of issues since your childhood you have uh, you have had lot of setbacks uh, since your childhood all you wish right now is things to stabilize in your life whether it is love whether it is money okay and with the knight of pentacles and ace of cups what i'm feeling is like look libra what i feel is love is going to happen love is about to happen there is a new beginning in love you are going to meet this love when you will be feeling low in your life and i believe with that nine of swords low there is a bit of uh, what shall i say there is a sense of feeling low there is a sense of feeling tired exhausted uh, because of whatever happened and love is going to pop up in your life at that time and we have ace of cups over here so there is a new beginning that is assured okay new beginning in love is going to assured it will happen slowly and steadily it is going to take its own sweet time to stabilize in your life it will happen but it will happen slowly and steadily so be mentally prepared for that okay don't expect like things will move like this and anyways you are wise enough to know like you are not someone who wants to rush into a situation or you're not someone who wants to you know uh you you like to take one step at a time okay so we have chariot we have is we have chariot we have is 8 uh, of pentacles and we have is 3 of swords you are sad because or you are a bit upset or you are feeling void of certain things in your life there is a bit of a low feeling and then there is someone else who is heartbroken over the fact that you are not a part of their life if you're wondering why your past person did not come towards you because they were working on their money is this a twin flame situation because you and your person both of you are mirroring lot of similar energies okay someone from a distance is coming your way okay someone is prepared to fight some battle look at the way this chariot is sitting in this uh this person is wearing this armor this this person is is uh, has stepped out of his home as if is he's ready to wage the war okay to rage whatever <laughs> he's re- he's becoming ready for the war okay he has he has worn that protective gear and that helmet and everything and he's moving out so what i see is like someone is coming towards you with lot of preparations okay someone is ready to fight for you someone is ready to fight for this connection okay so someone is thinking very seriously about you libra someone is thinking very seriously 
this can be also this can also be you you're also thinking about someone pretty seriously you have someone on your mind libra let's not deny that with that nine of swords and with the ace of cups probably some of you want a reconnection with the past okay not all of you with that ace of cups we can also say that there is a new energy new person new opportunity that is coming your way with a new person okay but we have chariot we have three of swords we also have nine of swords so i cannot deny the energy of the past person over here okay someone wants to fight for you that is for sure libra someone wants to fight for you someone is heartbroken over the fact that they chose someone else over you if there was a third party situation i don't see there is a third party situation no i don't see that five of cups and judgment someone is missing you oh my god this reading is uh, there is there is a strong presence of uh, the past energy okay so i don't want anything in the comments section okay so someone is missing you probably even you are missing someone because we have uh, this this is about mutual energy right five of cups and judgment is about mutual energy so the judgment day is not far away you know the decision day about some situation is not far away something will get decided very soon be ready for that either either about a past connection something will be concluded about the past connect connection i mean whether this whether you guys are going to reunite or not or whether you're moving forward with someone else or this can also be like you know you you going for a new opportunity but something about your love life is going to get decided very soon something very conclusive and very solid is will get decided okay all right i hope this resonates and hit like share and subscribe and comment down below libra and if you are interested in interested in 2022 predictions the link for the same is provided in the description box and in the comment section in that reading libra i have seen uh, i have provided general advice for 2022 i've seen like what is it that you need to know about your love life what is it that you need to know about your career your money your spiritual journey for your 2022 okay and based on the energies that i have sensed during the entire reading i have provided uh gemstone recommendations for you guys okay so if you are interested the link of that reading is in description box and in the comment section okay all right bye bye and take care